Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys the games to how I got the top one in the world yet again. So if you enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I kind of ran into like a recording problem, so can't really show the first half of the Lava Hound game. But except for that, everything should be fine. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright, I'm in a match facing SA. Last time I faced him, I think he was playing Minions, so it's a really good matchup. It's going to be playing P.E.K.K.A. Minions with um, Ram, Bandit, Ghost. All I got to do really is just get some damage in single and just defend the whole game, so I'll be fine. I'm going to Knight in the back to cycle. Just going to cycle it into the bandit here. Okay, see what he does. He might also be playing a magic archer, so I'm going to keep my queen ready. Oh yeah, he is going to be playing a magic archer deck. So I guess no poison. He's going to have a fireball, but pretty much the same deck. So in this matchup, I have to kind of worry about the magic archer. It's not really as easy as like facing minions, but I'll be fine. I'm going to pop my ability on the ram like now and then just going to log on the barbs. That way they get two-shotted by the queen. Hopefully get some damage on the tower with that queen. Okay, really good defense on the queen. I'm going to Axe here though because I know he can't P.E.K.K.A right away. Might go Bandit now though. Yeah, okay. Kind of a bad Axe, but now that I think about it. Also misplaced my Skelly, so I'm going to be taking a lot of damage here. I feel like he's going to Zap on the left. Never mind, he had to Zap on defense, so I get like a tiny lock, but I took a lot of damage. I guess I should have kind of defended that first and then went in, but if I did that, he would have been able to afford a P.E.K.K.A. So I'm not really too sure if I could like delete the Axe for a bit and go in later. It's all good though, plenty of time to make up for it. I'm just going to Queen the back once I have 10. All I got to do now is not really take any damage from the magic archer. Just play more um, careful and like not let the ghost and the bandit lock on my tower. It's my matchup by a little, so at the end of the day, if I don't get a lock, I can always just rocket cycle. But I'm going to cannon all the way up higher. Don't want to cannon on the dead center because he might prediction fireball. Okay, he didn't go for it, but I was kind of scared. If he did, it would have gotten out the cannon like right away, and then I'd have to like overspend on the ram. I'm going to knight on the ghost. He spent 7 elixir just now, so I'm just going to like... Axe spell on the right side here, just gonna ignore the magic archer. He might be able to get a P.E.K.K.A down though, but even if he does, I should be able to DPS it down really fast. Okay, the P.E.K.K.A is going to smack my queen, but I'm just gonna skelly here and just gonna go for E-Spirit. No, I misplaced the E-Spirit for a log, so I couldn't really kill the P.E.K.K.A on the spot before he like smacked on max spell. Anyways, I'm gonna have to knight on defense here, so I'm gonna stop going in completely now, because every time I went in, I took a lot of damage, and I got no damage. So just going to knight in the middle here and see what he does, ghost. Okay, I'm going to cannon high like all the way up high. Once again, don't want to play it low. Also, there was a good shot. I would have caught like the magic archer in the middle. Going to queen on the side here. He might go P.E.K.K.A. If he does, I'm going to have to rocket out the magic archer and the P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to pop my ability now though, predicting it. Nice. Okay, just going to rocket this out. Just going to go skellies. Okay, I played it like a second lead, so actually did not hit the hit the P.E.K.K.A. And I let the P.E.K.K.A. kill my queen. He's actually going to apply some really good pressure on the right side. And I'm guessing that's because he's going to want to get back to a P.E.K.K.A. So he's really clogging up the lane. I don't really have Elixir to go in right now, so I'm just going to have to Axe on defense. But good thing I wasn't really planning on going in. Yeah, I'm just like not going to go in for the rest of the game because I don't see like why I would go in. I'm not going to get any damage anyways. It's really easy for him to defend when I don't have a Fireball. So I'm going to have to Queen the back to cycle. Okay, I'm just going to Knight on the Magic Archer. That way it doesn't really do any damage on my Queen. Could have played it on the other side, but I think it's going to shoot my Queen for like one shot now. Okay, actually, yeah, just one shot. I was going to say two shots, but only got one shot. I'm going to pop my ability, go skellies on this. Just going to E-Spirit. Oh my god, really good zap. Kind of caught me off guard with the zap there, so I had to knight. Kind of like panic knight. I'm going to cannon the middle. I'm not really going to play it high because like he hasn't really been going for fireballs on them. So I'm going to queen above my king on the right side. Can't go on the left. He gets a really good fireball, so going to have to watch. I was just going to log on the magic archer. I'm going to pop my ability. No, I popped it so late. Okay, I'm not really playing optimal right now, but... Gonna have to knight E spirit. Also gonna queen here to kind of play it safe. He already played a fireball, so he should not be able to fireball on the left here. Okay, so this is where I think I can rock it because I have a knight queen push walking down the lane. He's got a pack into that. And I'm just gonna pop my ability. Nice. Okay, the ghost should die to my queen. And I can kind of like knight on the magic archer. Okay, also gonna have to log over here because he played a ram with it. So gonna have to skellies on the cannon here to not let the Pekka swing on it. Alright, I'm just going to eat that marcher. I think I need like two more rockets to win the game. So I'm just going to rocket over here. Number one. And got to get back to a second one to not choke the game. So just going to go for an x on defense on the right side. Okay, goes for Pekka on the left here. So this one is not going to be fun to defend because he's got a lot of stuff on the field. And I'm down like six elixir because I had to rocket on the tower. But I'm going to pop my ability. Just go skellies on the Pekka. Does go for a fireball. Um, Kind of a questionable fireball. I'm surprised he didn't hit the tower with that fireball i think it would have been better if he hit the tower but i'm just gonna rocket him here i don't really think i need a second rocket on the tower i probably do actually he's kind of catching up but i'm gonna go for skellies here just gonna go log okay really good fireball second fireball he did not hit on my tower not really too sure if that's going to 
going to work out for him, but Skelly's high, gonna cannon. Oh no, wait, wait, where's the bandit going? I'm just gonna log over here. Uh, oh my god, the log missed. Knight, uh, cannon. Does that out damage me? Tell me it doesn't. Nice, okay. That was really close, um, but those two fireballs that he didn't put on my tower kind of hurt him because if he put one of those fireballs on my tower, he would have out damaged me. I would have had to go for like a new rocket and I would probably not be able to defend at the same time. So I'll take the win that is going to put me at top 16. Not bad. All right, I'm in a match facing Enrique. This guy plays a really weird um, graveyard deck. It's got Mighty Miner, Archers, Phoenix, Freeze, Arrows, Tombstone, and like two more other cards that I'm forgetting about, but it's a pretty decent matchup. I think it's a really good matchup actually, like a 70-30 for me, so it should be fine. I'm gonna Knight in the back to cycle. Okay, it goes for Mighty in the back, so I'm definitely gonna have to Queen the back here. This is a good shot. He might just like pop his ability on the Knight and just go opposite lane, like right off the bat, because I cycled my Queen, but I've got a Cannon and a Log ready, and I'll be back to a second E-Spirit if he does, so. Yeah, it looks like he's not going to do that, though. I'm just going to Cannon in the middle, because I feel like he's going to have to pop the ability sooner or later, so if he does, that's just going to help me um, defend the Mighty Manor. There it is. Just going to go for a Cannon or... Skelly's on the Phoenix, not a cannon. I'm gonna have to pop my ability now because he played a Barbarrel on the Queen. Just gonna go for an E Spirit to cycle. Gonna have to log in the middle because in this matchup I have to get a log, so I need to get the Tombstone off the field. I'm just gonna go for a Knight above my King here. I'm not full on Elixir, but I feel like he's going to go in right now, so gonna have to be careful. I'm just gonna Skelly's over here and oh my goodness. Wait, that was at 5 Elixir. Why did he go in at 5 Elixir? That was so bad. Wait, what, what is he doing here? This is actually so bad for him. I'm just going to go in, and I don't think he has a way to get out of this. Maybe, like, freeze Barbarrel, but is he back to Barbarrel? Should be one off. I guess we'll wait and find out what he does. I'm just going to pop my ability, like, now. Uh, Phoenix freeze. Okay, thankfully, my ability did go off on time, so he's going to um, take a lot of damage here. Going to knight. Oh, beautiful knight. Block the Barbarrel and the Phoenix. That was actually one of the best knights I've ever played in my entire life. But, yeah, I'll take the damage here. Once again, a really bad play by going in because he just kind of let me stack up Elixir and I had a Queen on the field and a Knight. So I just went in with that. He tried to defend with a Phoenix and a Freeze, but it didn't work out. And Barbarrel also didn't like completely finish off the Axe so the tower's down to 718. I'll take it. Just going to go E-Spirit. Um, at this point, I can just go for like a defensive Axe and just play it safe. Or I can also try and get a lock, which is probably going to like hurt me at this point because like tower's like two rockets and a... I mean, two logs on a rocket away, so I don't really have to. I don't really have to go in. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of repeating things. So I'm trying to focus here. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Didn't take any damage here, so I'm just gonna log the cycle, and just gonna go for an axe. But I'm gonna play some Clash of Clans here. I could make a penis, but uh, I need a second cannon for that. I'm only back to one cannon, and my cannon's about to die in the middle. So yeah, whatever. Uh, looks like he's not gonna let me make a penis. So it just goes arrows on the cannon. So I'm just gonna cannon here and just try and get back to a second cannon so that i can play it on the graveyard but don't really have to yeah i'm fine that was a really bad freeze well i mean he kind of has to play that freeze but that's not really going to do anything got like 700 damage but towers a rocket log away so i'm just going to rocket him here and try and get back to my log and that is going to be game so really easy game here once again this guy did not play very well if he didn't go in there and just kind of save his elixir he might have been fine but yeah he's dead now so i'll take the win that should put me at top 10 i'm pretty sure let me check though i could be wrong but that should be like top 8, I think. Or like top 9. Top 8, not bad. Alright, I'm in a match. Facing Haru. This guy plays Golem. Uh, He plays like Golem, Golden Knight, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Lightning, Phoenix. It's a really annoying deck. Golden Knight Nato ability is going to be so annoying in this match. Especially with a Golem deck. I could just go Axe Ball opposite, but I don't want to. Especially because he has a Golden Knight. So you can just shut that down with like a Baby Dragon and a Golden Knight. And just go Golem in the back when I don't have Axe Bone Cycle. So... Gonna have to play this careful. I'm gonna go for a queen in the back. Because I don't really mind if I um, let him have like a really good lightning. I just don't want him to like golden knight nato ability on my expo and just kill it and go golem in the back. That'd be really bad. So I'm just gonna shove my expo here. And I actually meant to shove it because that's not gonna lock on the golden knight. It's gonna lock on the tower. So yeah, that was a really good play. Also, I knew he wasn't back to a mini pack or a barber also. Yeah, once again, a really good expo. He gets a shot at going golem here though. So this is not really... Not really that good, but I'm going to Knight on the side here. Just going to pop my ability. He's got a Nato that back. Nice. I was able to bait out some more Elixir. To be honest, he could have just eaten that, but he chose to Nato it back. Probably to prevent me from like going opposite lane when he goes Golem in the back, but he should go Golem in the back like right about now. Yeah, okay. Looks like I'm down to Elixir, but that's fine. I'm going to E-Spirit in the back. This might be a little bit annoying though, because I can't really 
Can't really play a queen on defense here. I'm just going to have to cannon in the middle and try and get back to like a second cannon. Actually, I could. I could if like he pushes with this and like doesn't have enough elixir for a lightning. But I'm just going to rock it over here and just go log on the egg. Okay, I don't know about that um, golden egg. He's at two elixir right now, so he's probably going to wait and play a mini P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, looking like it. Okay, yeah, it does go for a mini pack. I can't pop the ability on the knight, though, so that's good. So hear me out. I do have skellies in cycle, but I'm not going to place them right away because he's going to bar barrel to predict. So I'm just going to place them on the side here. Nice. Golem players are too easy to predict. They don't know what they're doing oftentimes. So yeah, really good defense on the golem. Only took 700 considering that I was down to elixir. And I'm pretty sure I'm down elixir right now, so I can't really go in. You never come out up elixir defending a golem push. And that's a fact. Unless you're playing like a splash shared deck or something. If you're playing a cycle deck, you never ever come out on top after defending a golem push. So I'm just going to go for a queen in the back here. Definitely going to take that lightning, I think. If he doesn't, the push is going to die to my queen, so he kind of has to. I'm just going to like rocket log the golem out. I'm not really going to cannon here. Because if I cannon, that gives him a fat lightning. And I don't want him to like lightning. Oh, really bad ability. Okay, uh, really bad golden knight ability. Oh my god, my queen lives. Okay, I'm just going to axe ball on the right side because he's got a mini pack on it. Nice, uh, does go for a mini pack. I'm gonna skellies on the side. Don't want to skellies on top because he did go for a bar barrel. Had a feeling he would just go for that, so that was good. I'm gonna pop my ability on the queen here on the left. Yo, he's got like two elixir right now, so I'm just gonna axe into this. Can't really do anything. Yeah, baby dragon, so. Nice game, I think. He has the mini pack now. I'm just gonna skellies on this. Uh, gonna E spirit. Okay, well, not exactly. I needed a few more damage to be able to rocket him out, but I'm gonna have to defend some um, pressure here gonna queen just gonna pop my ability i'm gonna like cannon on the side here okay really sneaky nato on the queen there could have worked if i didn't play a cannon there but luckily i had a cannon on the field gonna e spirit i'm just gonna knight over here okay see what he does <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> what what was that golem that was such a bad golem just plays it at the bridge okay um i was gonna lightning up my queen but i'm so confused that was such a bad golem does he not realize I'm playing a cycle deck? Like, he probably thought he outcycled my cannon as a golem player. <laughs> That's insane. I'm just going to go for a queen. Uh, just going to pop my ability. Go skellies in the middle here. And just going to cannon. Okay, I don't really... Do I? Yeah, I do. I was going to, like, hold on to my cannon. But he played a phoenix. So I kind of have to cannon now. Might go mini pack us. So I'm going to have to watch out. Going to go e-spirit. Just going to log here. Okay, just going to go for a knight. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Dude, I'm a rocket log away and this guy goes golem at the bridge. Like, what are you doing? At that point, you just have to kind of spam, like, mini pack up baby dragon and all that stuff to try and get damage. But this guy didn't play very well. He played worse than, like, normal golem players. And that says something about this guy. So, that puts me at top 9. Alright, I'm in a match. Facing Remy. I think he's got a top 1 finish with Minor Wallbreaker's Magic or Tornado. So, he's a really good player. I think I've got matchup by a lot here just because he's not playing a Fireball. He could be actually, but last time I checked, he wasn't playing a Fireball. He was playing Log Nado, so we'll see how this goes. Kind of annoying that I had to Queen on the Wallbreakers. I didn't really have my Cannon in Cycle, but at least I bait out some Elixir with the Queen, depending on what he has in Cycle. I'm going to pop my ability on the Valkyr. Spare Gobs, okay. Uh, I didn't know he had Spare Gobs, but he cycled a Log though, so it should not have a Fireball. I'm kind of confused because like normally he runs um, Spare Gobs, Fireball, and like Skelly's Log Nato, but he's got Spare Gobs and a Log, so I feel like he's not running a Fireball, but just running Spare Gobs. Should still be my matchup by a lot. Doesn't really affect the matchup a lot, but I'm just trying to kind of figure out what he has here. Um, I'm going to pop my ability on the Queen once the Magic Archer kind of walks up. Going to have to log the Wall Breakers. Oh, that was a really good Miner. I was ready to cannon that if one of the Wall Breakers got tanked for, but luckily my Log went down on time. Okay, I'm gonna keep my knight ready. If he plays a bomb tower before I play my knight, I'm gonna let the Axpo die. If not, I was going to protect, but ends up defending my Axpo, so that's fine. I'm gonna try to outcycle the bomb tower and the Valkyr. The fact that the bomb tower is blocking that lane means I'm gonna have to go in for opposite lane now. You don't really want to go same lane as them, but I kind of have to here, so I'm just gonna cycle my E Spirit. He is back to Magic Archer, but oh yeah, he's definitely gonna activate here. He does that a lot versus Axpo. Like there must be something he's thinking about when he activates King, but. I can't really think of a uh, think of a reason to like activate King versus Expo, but there must be something though behind it. Like I'm not really too sure. I don't play his deck, so yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna log on the wall breakers. Michael Magic Archer. I'm gonna keep my queen ready. It looks like he's not gonna play it on my knight though, so he's playing super patient as usual. I'm gonna go for a queen the back to cycle. He's gotta play a Valk into this or like a Magic Archer opposite lane. Depends on what he does here. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go in with the queen, but see what he does. He's not really making a play. I'm gonna cannon high here actually, and just gonna go for an axe ball on the left. Uh, oh, I shoved it. Oops, did not mean to shove it. I'm gonna go for a ability on the queen. That's not really gonna do anything. Oh, the bomb tower is gonna kill my axe ball now because I shoved it, and I didn't mean to shove it, but whatever. Lock on the cannon. Nope, it's gonna lock on the axe ball. So the axe ball and the cannon are going to die to that bomb tower, which is kind of annoying. I'm just gonna axe ball on the right side now and just go for a knight to block the bomb tower or the valk okay let's go for a valk he might go bomb tower soon i'm gonna log skellies on this oh one of them actually made it okay that's not good for me but i'm gonna e spirit over here to not let the valk swing or um let the spear gobs kill my axe bow nice got a log should even out the damage right now so just gonna go for a cannon in the middle okay this is not really looking very good because he's kind of controlling the game right now but i'm gonna queen the back left okay he played a minor into my queen so i could just rock it right now but just gonna axe bow on defense here to kind of play it safe that way I'll get back to a second expo and just be able to go in. Ooh. Okay, he kind of messed that up with the Valk there. That was really bad. I'm going to go for a Log. Okay, just going to go for an E-Spirit as well. Just going to go for an expo again because I'm back to it. I'm going to pop my ability on the Queen. He does go for a NATO to pull it back. I'm just going to go for a Knight. He's actually going to play a Miner on defense. So I might go Valk now. I'm just kind of waiting for the Valk. And I know he's going to Bomb Tower on the expo, right? So I'm already back to a second expo. So I'm just trying to like play my E-Spirit here and just go expo on the left. Oh, he predicted that, though. I can't really log that because I'm going to have to save my log for the wall breakers. Okay, there, there they are. So I'm just going to log. Skelly's on the miner. Nice, I caught it. Uh, going to E-Spirit. He has the NATO does to kill it, right? Yeah, it does go for NATO. The E-Spirit's going to make it. So that's like, what, two rockets? 964, definitely going to be two rockets away. So going to queen high here to not take any damage from the spares. And if he goes minor wall breakers, I definitely have a cannon in cycle. So I'll be fine here see what he does just gonna can in the middle just gonna pop my ability just go rocket over here playing it super safe um if he goes in i definitely have a log in cycle so i'll be fine e spirit gonna go for a log oh he almost predicted that he's just that good he's not making it easy for me so if i played that e spirit like 0.1 second later i definitely would have um lost the game because the wall breakers would have connected probably not lose the whole game but it would have been close so i'll take the win that is going to put me at like top five i think Alright, I'm in a match. Facing Splasher. See what he does here. Um, I'm gonna go for an E Spirit to cycle. So the smash up actually looks a lot better for um Queen Ball on paper, but it's actually kinda hard when you play it. Because oftentimes games end in like spell cycle and their win condition literally spawns on your tower, so it's hard sometimes. But yeah, see how this goes. Gonna log here. Just gonna have to get the tombstone out because in single I'm always gonna try to get a tiny lock if I can. That way, like I kinda set up a good base for like a rocket cycle. Archer's in the back though. He might be playing the Mighty Manor deck that I faced earlier. Probably the Freeze Arrows one with a Barbaro. Gonna Queen on the side. I could have played that in the middle because he doesn't have a NATO, but I'm just gonna play it on the side here. Doesn't hurt to play it on the side. Okay, see what he does. Might go Mighty because I did cycle my log. Okay, I thought he was gonna play it higher to save the egg, which would have been a lot better, but I guess not. Gonna go for a cannon, just go E Spirit. I'm gonna overspend on the expo here because like I kinda have to. I'm gonna pop my ability. I thought he was gonna pop his ability and go to my expo, which is why I kinda didn't like pop the ability on time if i did i probably would have gotten a lot of damage but had to kind of wait and see what he would do gonna skellies on the archer the one archer so it doesn't really kill my expo okay he's at like one elixir right now so i'm just gonna expo here not much you can do here i kind of had an idea of like what his elixir would be plus that barbarrel kind of told me that he was at zero elixir because he stalled it out a little and then played it on my expo so had to go for a phoenix i played a horrible knight probably the worst knight i've ever played in my entire life but that's fine, should get some damage here, or bait out like a tombstone, nice. Does um, get the tombstone now, so I don't really have to log it now, because it gets one shot on it, nice. Might have to log out the the egg, though. Not really too sure, but might have to do that. Now I'm just going to cannon here. I'm going to do it quickly, that way the phoenix doesn't respawn. Okay, well it wasn't going to respawn anyways. But that's fine, see what he does here. Might go mighty in the back. Archer's in the back, not bad. I'm just going to um queen the back, right? He might try to go in on the left here, but gonna have to watch out. Actually, gonna hold on to my queen, because I don't want to cycle it yet. He might go opposite lane. Okay, he does go for a Mighty Manor. I was just kind of waiting for the Mighty Manor to cycle my queen, but since he played it on the right side, I kind of have to just play my queen now. I'm gonna play my E-Spirit on the Mighty Manor. Just go cannon really fast. Can't let it lock on, because it heats up so fast. Gonna have to be careful, because like he does have a freeze, so I can't really leave any room for mistakes. I'm gonna go Axe on the left here. I'm not really um, worried about the Axe there, because I want the queen on the tower. Nice. What I meant to say was, like, I don't really care if the expo locks on. I just wanted to bait out some elixir. That way the queen on the right side would go crazy, and she did. 
So yeah, I'll take the damage here. Just gonna cannon, uh, gonna knight as well. Gonna have to log this. Uh, he is gonna freeze though, so gonna have to watch out. I'm gonna skellies on the inside. And nice. So I'm just gonna rocket him here. Super safe rocket because I just defended, so he's not really back to a second push. But he might try to go in before I, like, throw my second rocket. So I'm just gonna try and defend one more time and then just rocket him out. Yeah, let's go for Phoenix. Gonna knight over here to block it. He is gonna go in though. Okay, the cannon should take care of that, um... Barbarrel. E Spear was a little bit too soon, but that's fine. I do have a login cycle, so I'm just gonna log him out. Just go queen. Yeah, it's over. I'm just gonna skellies in the back here to kind of pull it back and just gonna rocket him out. Really nice win here. Um, this guy actually played a lot better than the other guy who went in at five elixir in single, but I'll take the win. Um, this game puts me, I don't know where it puts me, probably top two. Yeah, top two. All right, my recording is super buggy, and I just realized I wasn't recording, so I just kind of started recording, but I'm in a match here facing Dominic best lava player in the world um he's playing lava flying machine i had to play like a lot of sketchy good defense and single that i can't show you guys because i missed like the first half but i'm in a really good sequence right now so i'm just gonna keep um on pushing him just gonna knight over here to block the phoenix i'm just gonna cannon over here because he might go um skelly king that's his only option right now i'm pretty sure so yeah he's gotta go for it on the side i'm just gonna queen here this is looking so good because like I can keep going in back to back just because I was able to defend a huge lava push and like defend all this stuff without really taking a lot of damage on the right side. Gonna go for um scale. He's gonna pop my ability on the queen. I save my ability for um whatever he was gonna place on max but the max but locked on. Nice. So that is going to be game. He can't really minor, he just minored on the defensive minored on the queen is what I meant to say. And yeah, that is going to be game. So this game puts me at top two, pretty sure. Let me check though, but yeah, just gonna have to play one more game for top one. 32, yeah, definitely gonna put me at top two. Yeah, that puts me only 15 cups away from top one. That's what I like to see. One more game and I'm up there.